Well, it's a toss up between showing you around the boat today or going for a cruise, so we thought we'd go for a cruise. Only joking. Not really. I think we might lose half of you if we don't show you around <laughs> this lovely boat. <laughs> Come and have a look. So moving on to the front of the boat, on the roof at the front here, we've got two 270 watt solar panels. They uh, produce more than enough for what we need at the moment. We haven't had any problems with power, which is great. Headlamp for the tunnels, which is LED. And climbing into the bow, avoiding Fran's salad plants. Underneath here, we've got two gas bottles and uh, plenty of room for a bit of junk as well. Gas is in short supply for some reason or other. We can't get hold of any. Uh, under this cover here, we've got the bow thruster, which uh, also houses the battery for it, the motor, isolator switch. If you're not sure what a bow thruster is, it just moves the boat from the bow from left to right, controlled from the rear. And also access to the front of the boat which takes us into the bedroom. The fenders were originally tied to these uh, eyes here, but we prefer to use these hooks because um, you have to lift the fenders up every time you go into locks and they run the risk of dropping down again and you can get stuck in locks. So we much prefer these, they're movable to wherever you need them. And moving along, we have one huge chimney, more about later. Hook and pole for getting us off the bottom when we're stuck. Then moving round to the back, the lovely Fran. I will hasten to add that I don't come as part and parcel of the Elton Moss boats. Extra costs incurred. Ooh. But this is our lovely semi-trad cruiser stern. Cruiser? Do you call it a semi-trad stern? Not a cruiser stern, semi-trad. Um, so we've got seats for one of us to sit on while we're not driving. Lovely space for the dogs to sit in. Um, Elton Moss kindly put a hook in here that we can tie the dogs to until we're confident that they're not going to try and jump over the side, um, which is brilliant. The control panel is underneath this, which gets padlocked up. Um, overnight on the side we've got light switches the horn the navigation lights um, and this is the all-important bow thruster um, <laughs> controls which we have I used even before I got out of the boatyard to be honest because I had to swing the front of the boat out and the wind was catching me so I used it before I'd moved an inch um, but yesterday I could have done with it and I forgot I'd even got it Rich switched it on for me as the wind caught me. But um, yeah, <laughs> already it's probably coming in useful. And underneath here, we've got storage for blankets and chairs, umbrellas, and also under here, um, loads of storage. And it's brilliant. And underneath here, if my assistant will lift the lid, We have our canal line 42 horsepower engine, which seems to be so powerful. And look how beautifully I've been polishing it already. <laughs> um, fab, I mean, you can get all around it. And on the last boat, we were having to um, find our way underneath boards, but it's gonna be so easy to do anything on this so who knows maybe I will fulfill my promise of the last boat and learn how to use the engine and coming down the steps beautiful big sliding hatch just inside here we've got the uh, electrical control panel isolation switches for just about everything uh, two dogs and behind the control panel here is the electric cupboard and we've still got to sort out, we've got lots of storage down here. We don't quite know what to keep in here yet, but this will all get sorted. This is the um, solar panel control box. This is battery charging box for when you're on shoreline. Three kilowatt inverter, Vetus. And um, behind there is fuses. 
And that is all we Me want to know. know. <laughs> Because we That's don't know we anymore. Then <laughs> your kitchen friend. Your I mean, kitchen yeah, friend. Yeah, well, my kitchen. Actually, but I'm not going to be the cake baker, am I? Um, we chose a butler sink. And initially, when we first saw it, we thought we'd made a huge mistake because it's really big. But actually, it is just brilliant because trying to save water on the boat, you don't want to be constantly washing up. And during the day, if we have any bits of washing up, we just stack them down here out of the way. We've got a little bowl and just wash up into that using minimum water. And it's working so well because it's deep. We're not splashing water anywhere. It is just perfect. So I'm really, really pleased that we got that. That's been brilliant. Um, standard hob and under counter oven. There's nothing much to say about that. Uh, one of the joiners at Elton Moss kindly made us this drainer as well, which wasn't part of the boat. It wasn't expected, but he decided we needed a draining board and made that for us, yeah, which lovely. is fantastic. Um, cupboard space, and look at the soft closing. Oh, soft yeah. closing drawers, which I've yet to get used to. I keep trying to slam everything shut, and then when I soft close, I don't push it quite enough. All the cupboards are the same, all soft closing, but we haven't organised anything yet. What is that? <laughs> a fridge full of vegetables and last night's curry and my sourdough starter, which is now in the fridge. So, yeah, it's brilliant because we can, we went to a green grocer a couple of days ago and we're able to really stock up with salad and vegetables really for the week knowing that we can keep them cool so although we've managed for three years without quite well that is going to be a bonus so a lovely light airy kitchen big windows either side another cupboard in the corner there for crockery and glasses but we still need to get we want to get some shelves to go up here we want to get spice shelves um but we're going to take our time and just pick quirky stuff that we find on road we're not going to rush to bung anything up so so walking through we've got my favorite bit about the whole boat is this dinette i just absolutely love it and talking to the foxes and uh, well deck diaries last week they're the same aren't they they sit at the dinette all the time watching their laptops or editing videos etc and uh, it's a real hub isn't it of the boat we, even, we found here, that even now we sat here until about 11 o'clock last night just doing bits and pieces in fact i sat crocheting while rich, rich was sorting out videos and then this morning at half past six i think rich was up and he was sitting here again we hardly used the sofa this is just such a lovely light place to sit because we've got the window this side and um glazed side patch duck hatch for feeding ducks who have disappeared at the moment but it's lovely it's a metre wide so uh, that's going to be a great boon in the summer isn't it and so light the light is fantastic on the boat it's just it's just lovely and we've got storage underneath here this one's probably the best one to show you well the cushions come off this board comes out and the storage goes right down to the ground so at the moment this is all my yarn and my wool and my weaving equipment and this is Rich's art store at the moment and it obviously turns into a bed but uh, yeah, don't tell don't tell them friends and relatives <laughs> <laughs> and coming through we have our little saloon area oh and who's underneath the donette oh look she's their favorite place hello we chose to have carpet underneath the dinette, which was actually a suggestion of Elton Moss's. And it's lovely because it's really warm for us. And I think it's just made it home for the dogs. They love it there. Ah, look. <laughs> One's loom, which hasn't been used for a couple of weeks or so, has it? I'm, I'm desperate to get weaving, but we've just had so much sorting out to do. Um, the extra space has been really useful because it does mean now I can, t when I turn the loom and open it to weave, we can still get past it can just stay there for a couple of days if i'm in the middle of a project on the last boat i just took over the whole saloon area when i was weaving you couldn't walk past so although yes i've yet to weave um it's it's lovely that whole area is going to be mine now 
um, little sofa that we got from Sofa Bed Barn, which actually opens up into a bed if you get extra footstools with it. But we didn't need those because we've obviously got the Danette bed. So this has just got um, storage underneath, which I don't even know what's in there at the moment, but um, it just folds open. So we've got more storage there. This side is traditionally, the, the standard fitter is a television cabinet, but um, we don't obviously want the television. If we want to watch anything, we can put the laptop, which stands on here, um, and it's perfect to sit and watch. So um, Rich has got his cupboard of goodies there. But who's, where did we nick the shape of this from? Uh, that was World Dick Diaries. Thank yeah. you very much, guys. Mark and Debs, yeah. <laughs> we actually took a picture of their cabinet when we were on their boat, oh, months and months ago, and sent it to the boat um, builders, and they just mimicked it for us. So thank you. <laughs> What about the curtains, Fran? The curtains were made, I can't remember the lady's name. But Sean. She's, Sean, and she's recommended by Altmos uh, Boat Builders. If you want her details, let us know. We can put you in touch. But she, we chose the fabric online, um, and she made them. And we've been really pleased because we chose the Danette fabric um, in the boat yard. But the sofa and the curtains, we obviously couldn't go anywhere during lockdown. Um, so we just had to choose from online and we're so pleased with the way everything has fitted in, everything blends and merges in. It, we've just been very, very lucky. We've been adventurous as well and started putting pictures up. <laughs> that was stressful, yes. wasn't it, yesterday? <laughs> Filling our first holes into the wall, but everything else is going to go up on Velcro sticky pads, I think. Yeah, now. some pictures um, are just too heavy for that, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. This was um, hand painted for me by a certain Mr. Pike for my birthday, I believe, this year. Yes, it was. More bookshelves um, here. Books, obviously, on the television so called cabinet there. Books here. We've got little shelves in the corner here that we haven't done anything else with yet. And da, 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 our hungry, no, our, yes, our hungry penguin stove, um, made by Chili Penguin Stoves. In Wales. And it's fab. We were a bit shocked initially to see the big flow that comes with it. Um, it's a double lined, double skinned flow for um, maximum efficiency and it goes quite a long way up. The chimney is quite big. But we lit the fire for the first time last night in earnest, and it was fab. How many coals did you put on the fire? It was about eight. And it kept us warm from about five o'clock right through to the evening. The whole, this end of the boat got so warm. And we had to open the door behind you, didn't we, to let it, some uh, yeah, heat out? Yeah, it was lovely. And we actually, the oven in the top is not big, but it was enough to put um, a couple of little dish, casserole dishes in. In fact, that is still warm slightly in there now um i think it's going to be so efficient very pleased this plate hanging on the wall uh hooks onto the front here so you've got the uh optimal distance i don't know it has to be 250 so millimeter yeah. i don't know when you're using the fire but yeah. uh, it hasn't been taken off the wall yet, has it? No, but I think <laughs> but if you're is... having a roaring fire and maybe if you're burning logs that spit, then you would put yeah. that on to protect the floor around yeah. you. And, and the floor is solid oak all the way through, except for the bathroom. And of course great. we have got central heating as well. We've got a Webasto system. Um, so sorry, just going back behind, we've got these radiators. We only had two radiators fitted, but there should have been a third one in here, but we didn't want the space taken up with it because we've got one there, one in the bedroom and the fire, that's going to be plenty for us. So what about this? This is a bit of an innovation, isn't it? This thing. <laughs> What's the, the shower? Look, how much room there is in here. This is the only time you're ever going to see me in the shower, by the way. <laughs> So we've got the uh, large shower head at the top, which uses gallons per second, and then the small one that were uh, quick wash shower. So it's great, plenty of room in there, isn't there, friend? Yeah, if we've um, if 
if we've just filled up with water and we know it's not an issue we can use the big overhead one but in between times we're just using the little hand one to wash ourselves down and behind the door is what everybody wants to know about the first thing you get asked about any boat is the toilet system and we have chosen a separating toilet um, which has a partition so your wee goes in one part of it and can get emptied into El San or if you're out in the countryside just it can be emptied into the tree under the trees or the hedgerow and then there's a separate container for the other your stuff. solid waste <laughs> um, after we chose this there were new recommendations that came out from CRT up until now people have been able to double bag and put their solid waste in the uh, CRT waste bins you can't do that anymore you certainly can't after Christmas this year but we have plans of how we're going to deal with it I'm not going to talk about that now because we're working it out as trial and error and when we've got it sorted that'll be another video so you can really look forward to that one and then through to our bedroom uh, which is really just a standard bedroom we've still got to put some cozy things up in here we chose yet another bookshelf to go above the bed rather than a cupboard so we can actually sit up in bed without banging our heads on a cupboard and lovely Jim Elton Mosbo has made us a bookshelf here rather than a cupboard <laughs> um, we've got a wardrobe with storage space in here and shelves at the top here which are a bit crammed packed at the moment but that is virtually our clothes storage in there. Underneath here, we have a washing machine, which has been, well, we've still got boxes to unpack. So, excuse me one minute. <laughs> there you go, sorry. That's our washing machine. Um, and that's a little bit trial and error. It's lovely, but we're a bit nervous about using it because of the water usage and the power we're tending to use it only when the engine is running and when we know we're going to go to a water point or we're at a water point it's not a new thing for me being able to use a washing machine on a boat i just it's mind-blowing but i have to say it doesn't have half the personality of edna oh nine minutes look at it go it's good it <laughs> just switching a switch it's just you know but it's just yeah. so gadgetry isn't it look at it <laughs> it's uh well you can use a phone it's got an app and you can point your phone at it and it's just like i can't do that just i think i've used the same program the four times that i've used it so far <laughs> and massive storage underneath the bed is completely empty but there's no drawers as such we've um, got some plastic storage boxes um with out of season clothes and spare bedding and stuff like that under there and the other reason that we chose a reverse layout was so that we could sit in bed in the morning and um, just open the doors and sit and look out at the view. Unfortunately, it's not been that warm each morning yet, but it's coming. Well, that's our little quick tour of Laura Maisie. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we can get back to normal now, Fran. Yeah, we can. And we'll show you as we, not improve things, but as we add little bits more to the boat that are personal to us, then we'll show you, you know, little bits that we do as we go along. But at the moment, that's our home. Yeah, so uh, actually now looking forward to doing a bit of cruising. Yeah, and, and uh, walking. And walking. And next week we've got uh, a trip booked on the Anderton boat lift. Yeah, that'll be exciting. So we're looking yeah. forward to that. Yeah. So give us a thumbs up, like, yeah. subscribe, all that. And uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs> see you soon. Cheers. Bye. Bye.